Upside down, Shadow Macchiato. Upside down, Shadow Macchiato. Upside down, Shadow Macchiato. So we touched down to Chicago and the first thing I did was I googled a nail salon because my nail desperately needed it and I really like this place. I was really worried because I've had pretty bad luck. Let me wait till this truck passes. I've had pretty bad luck in Alana. I still haven't found like a nail spot I like in Alana. And then Orlando was not good. <laughs> and yeah, now we're well, we just tried out a nail salon. It's called Top Coat Nail Salon here in Chicago. And I really like how they filed it and kept it like very natural looking. The nail salon is in River North. So that's the area that I'm in right now. It just turned noon, so I'm probably gonna get some lunch soon. And right now I'm just walking to the, to the hostel. So I'm excited. I'm excited to start exploring this city. I did choose a hostel because just out of curiosity. And I remember when I lived in Spain, hostels were such a thing. And I feel like here in New York, or not New York, here in America, hostels aren't really a thing. So what I was saying before I got really interrupted by the fire truck is that when I was living in Spain, I've gone to a couple hostels and I've always had a really good experience, especially when um, the hostels offer like a female Oni room. That's a perfect setup. All right, I'm trying to take advantage while the room is empty, but hello welcome back to my video I'm trying to be quick before people come back i don't know if the other rooms are rented but check-in is at three so i'm pretty sure if they are rented then um the people might be coming soon but one person's already set up she's not in here so i just want to make this quick little clip and just say i am in chicago it's my day off today so i'm not at a layover i'm just here for tonight and then i'll be checking out tomorrow so i technically i'll have two days to explore but we're only sleeping in for one night but i thought this would be a great idea um to film uh this is my first city that i am leisurely traveling to i wanted to share the hostel experience because when i used to live in spain i know hostels are a huge thing in europe i've always had a good time and it's just a very easy budget-friendly way to stay it also occurred to me that if you are a new flight attendant and you know you need to commute uh, and money is tight because money will be tight when you are starting out as a flight attendant but this is such a great option so i paid only 38 dollars for the room for a night um there's a five dollar tax so even then 43 dollars is not bad for one night and you don't have to pay no cleaning or service fee they do take a 50 dollar deposit so um you get that back though as long as everything is checks out good but um yeah this is a great option especially i know like one of my friends that i graduated class with he's still having trouble looking for a crash pad um, just because crash pads fill out so fast and if you don't know what a crash pad is it's pretty much an apartment and usually there's multiple beds or um it could be like a converted two bedroom and they'll throw a bunch of bunk beds kind of like this situation but they're meant for flight attendants who just need a place to crash or get to when they are working and um usually the rent is really cheap but still if you're in a pinch i would definitely look into hostels in your city this hostel looks like a pretty good hostel so um i just checked in it's called freehand but um yeah i can't wait to explore the city chicago is a city that i've always wanted to come to and just explore but i never had a reason to because I don't, know, I don't know anyone from here well that's not true i've met someone from chicago in alana and she's actually one of my really good friends but um yeah i'm really excited to be here and it's a really good option especially if you're in a pinch and you need to get to base but you don't really have a place to stay this is not bad for you know just a bed to crash and as you saw the bathroom is really clean and um 
and yeah um also like if you are a new flight attendant i've even heard some people um use like hotels in the area so like let's say if you really don't have any hostels in your area or you don't have um any crash pads left they'll call up the hotels in the area so if you know your airport has like a hotel that has like a fitness center and you give them a call sometimes they may offer you like a monthly charge to use their gym it shouldn't be too high like i know one girl she was paying 30 dollars a month which is basically like a gym membership but she gets access to the hotel gym therefore she can shower in there she can work out there and then she just crashes in the crew lounge so that's really what you need a crash pad for it's just a place where you can shower and freshen up and i mean sleeping yes you need to sleep but you can sleep in a crew lounge and i know some people do it some people might not be comfortable but i'm just saying it's not a bad idea if you're really in a pinch anyway not early it's like one o'clock but i am really tired because my flight was at five in the morning today well, I had to get to the airport at 5 in the morning, but our flight was like around 6. So, I'm going to take a quick hour nap and then I probably will explore. So, these are the lockers. I already got mine in there on number 3. I'm so glad that I got an all-girls room. It's just the right amount of space. And you can already tell someone has already unpacked. So, I don't want to like film too much up there, but what the beds look like mine is right there i'm so glad i don't have to climb the bathroom looks really clean too here's a full length mirror or at least as clean as it can appear to be this is cute though there's me Whew. i'm tired Go take a nap and then I'll check back later. This is a bar. I think it's closed right now. walking down and I'm like why is this building so beautiful and I just look at the sign it's the public library do you see those corners Yeah, so that's yeah. 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 I specifically came here because they sell it grab and go. So like I don't have to wait for a whole pie.
Chicago in this beautiful summertime. I'm pretty sure I would not feel the same if it was snowy, cold. Today is a public transportation day. Although I gotta say that these heels that I have on, I've had them for years. I've had them for years. They're by Steve Madden. They're the most comfy shoes. They're so broken in by now because I've had them for so long. And I can literally walk miles in these. I'm telling you, if you ever get a chance to check out Chicago, you have to. It's the world's biggest self-mirror. <laughs> Thank you. 